Okay. Now again, we're going to take a look at Luke chapter 12, verses 34 to 39. And it says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants, whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself, and make them sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and have not, sorry, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour that when ye think not, Right? So Jesus makes us stewards of the time that we have here on earth. We're not just stewards of physical things that we can see and touch and feel, um, but we are also stewards of our probationary time here on earth. And so with that probationary time on earth, we are expected to watch for the coming of our Lord and to share um, the news, the gospel, with others. Letting them know that Jesus is coming soon, and that they also should be watchers. Now the scripture tells us, to whom much is given, much is required, and God has entrusted us with a lot. God has entrusted us with, um, with many resources that we are to use for his glory. And he expects us to do something with it. He expects us to multiply and to use those resources. But what are we doing with them? Some of the time when we ask God for financial blessings and for um, blessings with certain things, he can't give it to us because he knows what we would do with it if we got it. And so uh, a lot of times we actually prevent ourselves from being blessed because we are not faithful stewards with what God has given us already. And remember, um, Malachi uh, chapter 3 gives us a promise. God said that if we were to pay a faithful tithe, he would open up uh, the windows of heaven and pour out such a blessing that there would not be room enough to receive it. Now that blessing does not necessarily mean more money. That blessing might be other things. Uh, remember that the angels protect us from all harm. God blesses us in so many ways that sometimes we don't even realize it. All right. So God promises to bless us. All right, and maybe the fine, maybe the blessing will be financial. We don't know, but the thing is that God has promised us that He will open up the windows of heaven and pour us out that blessing. But what are we doing to be faithful stewards with what God has given us already? Are we showing God that we are truly ready and able um, to handle more blessing? There are some who, um, if God gave them certain blessings, uh, the blessings might just destroy them. And so God has to withhold certain things because he knows what the person would do with it. So as we bring this stewardship lesson to a close, I just want to encourage everybody that um, to be faithful with what God has given you already. And God has promised us um, that he will come again and that our time here on this earth is only probationary. And remember, Jesus said all things are put under his feet. All power in heaven and in earth is given unto him. And so God has, Jesus has ultimate access um, to all the resources of heaven. And he is wanting and, and willing and um, seeking to entrust us with those resources so that we can use them to glorify him and to win the souls of others. But are we being faithful? Even the knowledge that we have in Christ, we, are fa we have to be stewards of. Okay, If um, we're not sharing the truth that we have with others, why would God entrust us with more truth? If we're not sharing the gospel with others, if we're not using our talents for the Lord, why would God trust us with more talents? 
everything that we have belongs to God. Everything that we can do ultimately originates from God. Um, <clears throat> provided that it's not anything sinful, of course. But all of the, the things that we can use for His glory are entrusted to us. What are we doing with it? So it is my appeal to everyone um, that we use what God has entrusted to us uh, for the best purposes, that it would bring gl glory and honor to God. And when we do that, uh, we can be assured that um, Christ, who has all things put under his feet, will entrust us with more and more so that he can continue to use us. At the end of the parable that I read from, um, from Matthew, Matthew 25, we saw that when the Lord came, two of his stewards were ready and had used their talents wisely and multiplied. But one steward was unprofitable. And in verse 30 he said, And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man, uh, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall he be, shall be gathered all nations. And he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hungry, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and, gave thee, and, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall say and uh, shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So you see that God has entrusted us with many different resources. He entrusts us with food that we can give to the hungry. He entrusts us with um, with drinks that we can give to the thirsty. He entrusts us with um, time that we can visit the sick or visit those who are in prison. He entrusts us with clothes that we can give to uh, those who are naked. All these things are talents that God has entrusted to us. What are we doing with them? Let's see what happens at the end of this parable to those who chose not to use their resources to be a blessing to others. Matthew chapter 25. <clears throat> Verse 41, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hungry, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And so the principle or the foundation is set that God has entrusted all these resources to us, the clothes, the food, the time, everything. And as we established, from creation, God has entrusted everything that he owns on earth to mankind. He created mankind to have dominion. And if we are faithful in few things, as the very same parable says, he will make us rulers over many things. So because God has entrusted us with so much, he expects much from us. If we have clothes, we have a responsibility to give to those who do not have clothes. If we have food, we have a responsibility to give to those who do not have food. All these things God entrusts to us so that we can be a blessing to others. So what are we doing with what God has entrusted to us? God doesn't require things from us because he needs them. 
God owns everything already, but rather he entrusts us with things so that we can be a blessing to others and so that we can show him our gratitude. And so that's the true meaning of stewardship. Stewardship is being grateful to God for what he has entrusted to us. We can't give God anything that he doesn't already own. But what we can do is show him our gratitude by returning what is already his. And we can also show him our gratitude by using the resources for the purposes that he gave, of them, that he gave them to us for. Sharing with those who don't have, for example. Giving to those who need. So it is my prayer this evening that uh, we will be faithful stewards with what God has given us. And that as we show that we can manage the resources that God has given us, it is my, also my prayer that he will entrust us with more. So on that note, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for entrusting us with all the things that you have given us, with, our, with uh, time, with money, with um, food, with clothing, with shelter, with all the things, with jobs, with careers so that we can um, provide for our families. And Lord, we pray that you would continue to bless us and help us to be faithful stewards with the resources that you have given us. Help us to use them to be effective ministers, to win the souls of others, and to multiply so that at your coming, you will find us faithful stewards. And that because we are faithful in few things, you will make us rulers over many things. Lord, help us to give in appreciation. Help us not to give grudgingly or um, out of obligation, but help us, Lord, to give out of thankfulness and cheerfulness. Help us to recognize that you truly are the owner of all things. Everything that we have already belongs to you. Everything that we have, you have entrusted to us. And so, Lord, when we return our tithe, when we return offerings, or when we give back um, what you have already given to us, it is in gratitude and gratefulness that we show you our appreciation. And this is the acceptable manner that you have given us to give back to you. And so, Lord, we do it by faith um, to show you the sincerity and the appreciation from our hearts. And, Lord, I pray for those who do not have to give that you would provide for them. I pray, Lord, for financial blessing on those who, who, who trust you and who are using their, their, um, their gifts and their talents wisely and as you have entrusted to them. Help us, Lord, to manage your resources faithfully. This we pray in Jesus' name.